Hi there, I'm Black Bright and I'm broadcasting out the UK and I just want to thank you for subscribing much. I really do appreciate it and for sharing and for liking my videos. Um, yeah, today I wasn't sure how many of you know you need to be telling your parents. I'm not quite sure what the age group of people who watch my videos, but this one is talking about pension credit. It affects your parents or your grandparents because... You know, we have our cougars and we have our gigolos and now we're living in an era where um, the older lady is going out with a younger man or the older man is going out with a younger woman. And so if you have somebody who's a pensioner and the partner is not of pensionable age, they're not going to get pension credit. So it's really going to affect them and it affects them by thousands. They're going to be asked to claim for universal credit where you get much less. So um, apparently there's this petition going out um, because they think it's unfair. Personally, I personally don't think it's unfair. I think pensioners should get pension. And I'm not quite sure how um, somebody who's married to somebody 10 years younger than themselves how or why they would expect to get pension credit just by virtue of the husband or wife being a pensioner. I don't quite get that because that's what this law is saying. I think it's coming out next week, it's 15th, of, um, 15th of May is coming out, the change. And they're telling people to, you know, put the application in before the deadline to make sure that, you know, you're not affected by it. But, you know, I think I'm going to um, read some of it because I like to read any time it's got to do with policy. I like to read it. Uh, next week, 15th of May, the government is introducing a new policy that will leave pensioners with younger partners thousands of pounds worth off. The change stops pensioners with younger partners from being able to claim pension credit and they're called the mixed age couples where one person is above state pension age and the other is below. So they'll have to claim universal credit, which is a benefit for working age people and worth far less. Until both partners are of state pension age, they will not be eligible for pension credit. Oh, I see. That's why it's a problem. Because they're saying that the older person has to wait for the younger person to be of pensionable age to get pension credit. That's disgusting. They should be able to give it to the one who is of pensionable age. But not according to this. No wonder they're saying that they're having problems. Sometimes, you know, you read something and you kind of read it over and over again. It doesn't digest until one day, one minute, the bulb goes up. Okay, some mixed-age couples could end up £7,000 a year worse off. Some could be waiting years for their partner to reach state pension age to gain access to the benefit. One guy said he's going to divorce his wife. Can you imagine? So he can get pension credit. Hmm. Not very good. Um, the government claims the reform will make the system more equal and ensure younger people are not getting a benefit designed for pensioners. Far from creating a fairer system, this sweeping reform will punish pensioners by denying them the benefit they are entitled to simply because they have fallen in love with somebody who is younger than them. So... Um, I'm just making sure that I've got the main things. I mean, if you go to the www.gov.uk um, website, yeah, um, that will tell you about this in more detail. I'm just kind of giving you a little taster so you can go and look into it and if this applies to you, because like I said, there are a lot of mixed age couples going around. Um Another thing, oh yeah, on top of this, one of them must have reached pension credit qualifying age and 
claiming housing benefit. So it's not even just enough to be to qualify for pension credit. One of them has to be receiving housing benefit as well. I, I think I don't know what's happening to the the world because it looks like they're really impoverishing people, punishing people almost. Should you not be eligible, the government website says that you can instead apply for universal credit, which, according to iNews, is worth hundreds of pounds less per month. According to the figure, figures calculated by Age UK in 2019 to 2020, out of the 15,000 affected by the reform, 4,650 mixed age couples would lose out on £35,000 as a result of having to wait at least five years for their younger partner to reach the status of pension age. So guys, you better know your age. Marry your age, guys, because as you get older, I mean, it's fine. I mean, a lot of people do it for various reasons, but it doesn't seem to be working out. If you don't already claim pension credit, are in a couple and are eligible, it could be worth claiming the payment now ahead of the deadline. Today is the 10th of May, so it's going into force on the 15th of May, so you'd really have to get this done quickly. I guess you can do it online. In fact, the charity Aid UK are urging pensioners who think they may be entitled to pension credit and have a partner to apply by May the 14th. That's because if you're already getting pension credit and are in a couple, you'll continue to do so after the changes on May the 15th, regardless of your half, your, your other half's age. That's important then. Because if you do it before the 15th, even though your partner is much younger than you, you can still claim pension credit. So these new, this, you know, that's why you have to keep on top of legislation all the time. Sometimes I think to myself, am I going to run out of things to talk about? But there's always something new coming out. And like I say, sometimes you think it might not affect you, but it might affect like, your parents. This could affect your parents or your grandparents. So you need to share this information quickly. Um, it's worth being aware that if your entitlement stops for any reason, for example, your circumstances change and you would no longer be able to get it again until you or your partner are eligible under the new rules. So... Yeah. So I'm going to upload this because I think this is really important. And because the deadline is the 15th, only five days away, you need to get onto this quick. So ciao for now.